This dish had better be worth working overtime all night for. Well, Traveler, this is the moment of truth. Oh, so tired. So sleepy. I just want to eat up and get to bed. Is this... foul? Oh, wait. No, the texture is more like shroom bore. There's a different flavor in every bite. And the discerning palate might detect a hint of something smoked, too. Quite marvelous. Ham? But I don't see any ham anywhere. Oh... So you've noticed, yep, every single strip is kneaded from several different kinds of meat. Paimon and Yanxiao put in a lot of effort to make it just right. Uh, so I'm not an expert or anything, but don't different meats have different cooking times? Uh, uh how is everything in this dish cooked to perfection? Well, you see, um... That's a trade secret! Wow! So this dish really is one of a kind. That makes the whole trip worth it. By the way, does this special dish have a name? Ah! Paimon forgot to mention that part. The dish is called Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds. Alluding to the way that the different threads of meat are woven together. And also... The complex layers of flavor, yes? Akin to the harmonies of a musical ensemble? The name, if I'm not mistaken, is a Leo idiom that evokes a vigorous orchestral performance featuring both stringed and wind instruments playing together. Mm, quite an apt name for this dish. Uh, how did you know all that? Every student has to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. Wait. Is that not a requirement anymore? Uh, huh? Oh, that used to be a thing? Oh! Hyman almost forgot that you're also from her habitat. So, um... Anyway, how much does this dish cost? Oh, don't worry, not too much. That'll be, uh, 30,000 more, please and thank you. 30,000?! <gasps> <laughs> uh, about that, Paimon, Traveler, I nearly invited you to join us at the table, did I not? I don't believe I committed to paying for you. So, perhaps we could split the bill accordingly? Oh, Paimon knew it was too good to be true. Famous merchant, you've got a reputation to uphold. Uh, but every single mora matters, you know? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll just consider that the cost of learning about this dish. Once I'm back in Sumeru, I'll be sure to find someone to help me recreate the dish. And then, and then, I'll make it all back. so much better now that I've gotten some food in me. Delicious food really does wonders for one's spirit. Uh, 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 my advisor said that young people shouldn't stay cooped up in the academia all the time. Uh, they told me that I should take the chance to get out and see the stars in other skies. Oh, uh... Maybe I can think of it as my first internship experience? Oh, but it sure is exhausting. Hmm. Now, how 
should I justify a high price tag for a dish without any fancy ingredients? Huh. Maybe start by giving it a fancy sounding name? Uh, <laughs> I should have known you'd see through me. Everyone was exhausted and seasick when I made the offer last night, so I figured they probably wouldn't be able to eat all that much today. Well, you saw how that turned out. I tried placing some limitations on the order to keep costs under control, but you still found a way around my schemes. <sighs> That's what I get for not thoroughly researching the market beforehand. Hey, you're not even paying those too much of a salary. Just treat them fairly next time and don't be so stingy. Well, yeah, but that's why Paimon's qualified to talk about this. Now, how should I justify a high price tag for a dish without any... Uh... <laughs> uh... <sighs> Everyone, I tried placing some. Hey, you're not even paying those. T well. Even though I didn't get to try Adeptus Temptation or Bamboo Shoot Soup, this trembling strings and rushing reeds was still quite impressive. Thank you for making it. Well, about that, even though newfangled contraptions are hardly my cup of tea, Dory's offer was quite enticing. She said that every time we stopped at a new harbor, I'd be free to go and pick out some ancient books at the market and bring them back to Sumeru. <laughs> I couldn't resist an offer like that. So I offered to join for the lowest possible pay to undercut all my Kasharawar competitors. <laughs> <laughs>